hit her, which was pretty hard. You see my parents out there anywhere? I don't think so. Not that I'd know what they'd look like. I always pictured them looking like me, but older. And in my mom's case, more female -ier. All these years of leaving them tickets after I was signed to Raw, just hoping they'd see me on TV and show up. And now tonight, they finally will. It's unbelievable. It really is. package deal. They always had each other's backs. And that was certainly the case when I faced off against Red in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Red's going to try to beat Zelina to the top. Hold on, it's Andrade. What's he doing out here? Is he putting Zelina Vega on his shoulders? How is this legal? It's not only legal, it's smart. It's Trey. I think he's seen enough from Andrade. Trey has neutralized Andrade. And that was the opening Red needed. This pains me to admit, Byron, but you might have been right about your prediction. She's going to do it. In her first attempt, Red is going to win the Money in the Bank ladder match. Wait, it's Ronda Rousey. This isn't over yet. Ronda's got Red's arm. Is, is this what I think it is? Armbar on the top of the ladder. She's got it locked in. Red's in big trouble. Yeah, it's going to be hard for her to grab a briefcase with a broken arm. Can she escape before it's too late? This is anyone's match now. And we're underway with what promises to be a thrilling Money in the Bank ladder match. Here she goes, back in the ring now. Rousey able to counter beautifully. Ooh. She is. She's going right at Stomping. Ouch. Back there. Stop on the leg snap. Oh, that's going to hurt. Tear your hamstring. There she goes. Oh, she right the spine with the knee. That was vicious. Had it scouted. Oh, right to the jaw. German suplex. We've got a climber. Heads up the ladder. Well, she certainly doesn't appear to have a fear of heights. This is not going to end well for one of these superstars. Not a great move. Charlotte with a nice reversal. This could go one of two ways. We shall see. Toss to the outside. Point of the elbow. Nailed it. The set begins. He's taking a fight. Try and buck away. One of these competitors is going to regret climbing that ladder pole. Hope it's not great heights. Not sure this was the best idea, but it makes for some dramatics, that's for sure. There she goes.
entitles her to a future championship match. That was a hard-fought battle the entire way. Respect to all of these women. Hold on. Ronda may not be finished with Red. A sign of respect from Ronda Rousey. I'm sure that means a lot to Red. Uh, this would be a huge night for any superstar, but considering she's still relatively new to WWE, it's that much bigger for Red. Sorry, hold on a second. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Are you kidding? Any time. I mean, not that I have photo shoots all the time. That would be obnoxious, unless you think that would be good for my career. I just wanted to congratulate you. I mean, what you did out there tonight was pretty incredible. You have no idea how much that means. I grew up watching you. Well, now I feel ancient. <laughs> no, I, I just mean you're one of the reasons I'm here today. See, I have this list of goals with my friend, and one of them is win money in the bank ladder match. I know all about your list. You're kind of a big deal at this point. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, 
Anyway, I never thought I'd be the one to cross off money in the bank because it was only a match for guys, but thanks to women like you paving the way, I did it. And now I can pursue something else on my list. Win the Raw Women's Championship. Sorry, I'm rambling on like an idiot. No, keep rambling. I mean, seriously, at this stage of my career, hearing things like that is way better than winning a championship. I'm sorry, but did I just hear you thank her for paving the way? You must have forgotten I was the first women's Money in the Bank briefcase winner. And second, actually, too. Didn't you need a guy to help you do all that? That's how I remember it. That's not the point. What I'm saying is you're just a cheap knockoff that will never compare to the original. So don't even bother attempting to cash in that briefcase. You should just hang on to it as a souvenir. Or, better yet, melt it down into braces for those jacked up teeth of yours. Actually, why don't you step aside so this poor photographer doesn't have to take any more pictures of your mangled face. The former Money in the Bank briefcase holder and current Raw Women's Champion Carmella is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the new briefcase winner backstage. Yeah, this certainly escalated quickly. Well, if I were Red, I would have taken the rest of the night off, but I guess she had other plans. Carmella with a nice reversal. Evading possible disaster there. Oh, shows no mercy. And that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. She's really relying on that object a lot now. And I can't say that I blame her. Red's going to use her briefcase to put an end to this brawl. Carmella gains control and nails Red. And now Mella's taken off with Red's Money in the Bank briefcase. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Ooh, earth-shattering spine buster. She ducks out of the way there. Beautiful suplex. Big punch finds oh. its mark. Carmella with a nice reversal. And it's Carmella answering back. This might be big. Back suplex. Uh. Wow, she turned that one around. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Uh. Amazing reflexes on display. Going for the... Red manages to get Carmella down. Carmella kicks the briefcase into Red's face. Wait, what's Carmella doing with the briefcase? I think she's gonna try to destroy it. Come on, Red just won it. Someone needs to stop this. I think it's too late for that. Looks like it's headed for a landfill. Good luck cashing in on me without a briefcase.
I got here as fast as I could. What's the big news? This. Is that a dead... animal? No. I spent all night digging through the garbage truck and found your money in the bank contract. That's great! And it also explains the smell. I think that's mostly me. I skipped showering because I couldn't wait to tell you the good news. You're a true friend, but please don't touch me right now. Fair enough. So is the briefcase in the bag too? No. It was completely destroyed, but all that really matters is your contract survived. Besides, you can always just make a new briefcase. True. Well, thanks again. I really owe you one. Ah, don't worry about it. I ended up scoring some sweet bonus items from the garbage truck. Got a few rolls of wrist tape with a bit left on them, a stack of Rusev pictures that are either covered in salad dressing or baby oil stains, and check this out. I think that's possibly Vince McMahon's half-eaten steak. Now that could be worth something. Oof. Cool. Why don't you tell me more about your disgusting trash treasure after you get cleaned up? In the meantime, I'll work on a new Money in the Bank briefcase design. Ooh! You could decorate it with my Rusev garbage pictures. Um, yeah, maybe. Nice. We've all heard the saying, don't write checks that your mouth can't cash. Well, after last night, there's a new version. Don't write checks that your briefcase can't cash in after Carmella destroys it with a garbage truck. It really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Sorry, Red, but I proved what everyone already knew. Mella is money, and you'll always be trash. It's Red, and it appears she has the new accessory. Um, what is that? Did you make your own briefcase? Real cute, but I think you need to take your DIY and go di bye. I'm not going anywhere, because it's not the briefcase that matters. It's more symbolic than anything. What really matters is the contract inside that's good for a title match at any time. And I still have that thanks to my disgusting yet loyal friend. There's no way this is legit. Actually, Randy Orton just signed off on it, so it's official. You can't do this. I destroyed your briefcase. This should not be happening. Sorry, princess, but it is. So what do you say we finish what we started? championship match right now. I don't know about this. Carmella got the best of Red just 24 hours ago, and now Red might be setting herself up for a repeat. That could certainly happen, but throughout the years, Money in the Bank briefcase holders have cashed in at a highly successful rate. Let's see if Red can continue that trend here tonight. Carmella destroying Red's briefcase. I certainly did not expect this. You gotta hand it to Red. Most people would have accepted defeat and moved on, but not shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? She's got a long way to go before she should be thinking about a pinfall victory here. I'm on their shoulders. Down in a hurry. Carmella with a nice reversal. Elusive movement there. Back suplex. Very nice. A well-aimed strike. This one's about the women's championship, and nothing means more to these women than that title. One thing nobody could ever take away from Carmella is that she will for the championship! Plenty of fight left. She's still in this one. Carmella just barely got out of the way. What a counter! Hooked him up. Oh. And a 
suplex. Up on their shoulders. Down in a hurry. Carmella may be in a bad way here. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. This is that suplex. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? Incoming. Salt. You see that height? That will get your attention. In the corner. This is not where she wants to be, Michael. I can tell you that. So ruthless. For the win to retain the championship. Not sure what made her think now was a good time for a pin attempt. Oh, he had scoop slam. It's champion's advantage. The title cannot change hands by countout or disqualification. You can lose the match and still keep the championship. German suplex. Wow. The champ looking out of sorts. She may have under... Going for the X-Plex, man! Cover for the championship! One, two, and a kick out. As a former dancer and cheerleader, you know Carmella's gonna be light on her feet out there. Carmella with a nice reversal. Good night. She scores big with a counter. Straight punch. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Changes her fortune there. Oh, look at this. Look at the suplex off the top rope. Oh, jeez. Oh, Take all the wind out of you. Running set. The champ has been taken to their limit. Yeah, this could be the end of the road for her. And it's Carmella answering back. Now, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah. Ooh-wee. Wasn't expecting that. What a windmill camp! She's ready for something big. Oh, what a chop! That'll light you up. Uh-oh, this isn't gonna end well for someone. Going up top. Oh, man, what a leg drop!
Trap the arm. Neck breaker. So smooth. Putting it all on the line. From the top. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. New champion. Two. Successfully cash in a replacement money in the bank briefcase to become the new Raw Women's Champion. What an amazing 24 hours this has been for Red. I hate to say it, but you have to give some credit to her pal Trey, who apparently went dumpster diving to salvage the money in the bank contract. This is yet another tremendous achievement for Red to cross off the list she shares with Trey. It's become increasingly apparent that it's not just a piece of paper. It's the driving force behind Red's meteoric rise to the top. And so it is with great honor that I induct the package deal, Red and Trey, into the WWE Hall of Fame. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> no. Wow. Thank oh, you. This is incredible. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank All you. Right. Thank you guys so much. All right. Almost 20 years ago, we were a couple of not so popular high school kids who bonded over our love of WWE and became best friends. But we never thought it was possible that someday we'd be WWE superstars ourselves, let alone stand on this stage tonight being honored as two of the very best of all time. By the way, I totally thought we could do it. He didn't. Going off script already, huh? Well, that didn't take long. Fine. Where was I? Here we go. But one day at lunch, we made a list. This piece of notebook paper would become the roadmap to our success in WWE. It contained our goals, hopes, and wildest dreams. And it changed everything. Over the years, we added a lot of new things to the list, and pretty much everything got crossed off except for one huge final achievement. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And unless anyone in charge has a last minute change of heart, I think it's safe to say that will be crossed off in a little while. I'm not gonna say this is a bigger achievement for me than it is for my friend, but let's be honest. When I first got to WWE, not many of you thought I was Hall of Fame material. What he's trying to say is he wasn't exactly the most respected superstar in the locker room. <laughs> well, let's face it, no one other than you liked me. But a lot of that was my fault. I was brash and confident, but didn't have the experience to back it up. Sure, I had a universal title win, but it was mostly considered a fluke. And when it came to the list and my career goals, I really only cared about crossing off the fun things that came along with being a WWE superstar. Winning dance contests, getting an action figure, a cool t-shirt, being in a video game, a movie. <laughs> Which, of course, brings me to The Miz. What's up, buddy? I see you. <laughs> yeah. There were a lot of parallels between our personalities, which explains why I wasn't that liked and also why we made such good adversaries. I mean, who could forget our legendary battle over the lead role in rank and file four? 